Stop trying to date men who have money when you are broke. Hey beautiful people, how you are doing today? It's your girl Destiny here and welcome back to my channel. How you are doing? Hope you guys are doing great. So today's video is a video of a sister who came online to talk about Sharon Seven. And I feel like this is something that everybody's talking about, talking about the Sprinkle Sprinkle Lady and how the Sprinkle Sprinkle Lady has affected the dynamic of relationship, especially when it comes to men and women. And she wanted to talk about um, Risa Tisa, the lady that did the TikTok 50 part series about about having a pathological liar for an ex-husband. She wanted to talk about that it also it has to do with the sprinkle sprinkle movement, how the ideology of how women should get the bag, how it's all about the bag. Larissa stayed in that relationship that was very toxic with full of lies because the man was paying her bills. She has so much to say about this conversation and this has also gotten a couple of people to come in and talk and give their thoughts on this. I have a lot to say. I kind of agree and disagree with some of the things she said, which I'm going to come back to share with you guys later on. But I need you to go down in the comment section and let me know your thoughts of everything she said, what you agree, what you don't agree, if you agree with everything or not. Go down in the comment section and share your own thoughts and then we'll come back and talk more. So with that all said, guys, let's go check out the videos of her talking and then people's response to our video and then we'll come back and talk more. Also, too, I feel like this is an appropriate time for me to re-bring up the conversation about the Sprinkle Sprinkle Life. And I know y'all going to drag me and y'all know I don't care. Read my bio. So a few months back, I made a video where I said that a lot of y'all try and play the Sprinkle Sprinkle game or whatever. And that's a big girl's game. And y'all tried to come mm -hmm. for me. And the, the video is now deleted, not because I care what y'all said. I just... I just wanted the negative energy off my page. But anyways, in that video, I stated that the sprinkle sprinkle lifestyle is only for a certain caliber of a woman. And of mm -hmm. course, you know, a lot of women, then this is why I stopped being a girl's girl, because a lot of women do not like accountability. Y'all don't like to be told the truth, especially if it's uncomfortable, right? But I'm going to say it again, and I think this is an appropriate time to say so. Stop trying to date men who have money when you are broke, okay? If, if y'all took anything from the Risa Tisa story, and this is absolutely no shade to Risa, love her down. But I think this is a lesson that can be taken from this, right? Because let's be honest, she stayed in that situation because that man was paying her bills. And I said that in the video that I made, right? Y'all don't vet these men properly, right? Because a lot of y'all approach the situation and it's just like, oh, well, you know, I want to provide her. I want to provide her. I want to provide her. I want her to pay my bills. I want her to buy me Chanel. I want her to buy me gifts. Da, da, da. And it's like, okay, but you don't do that for yourself. And I, I don't think, well, I don't, I'm not even going to say I don't think. I know y'all aren't being realistic and y'all think men are dumb. Men are not dumb. They're very calculated, right? Because when a man sees that you don't live a certain lifestyle, but you want said lifestyle, he's going to give it to you as a manipulation tactic. I agree. What's not clicking? I agree. What's not clicking? Right? And when I said this, y'all tried to drag me because y'all felt like, oh, da -da 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 -da, pick me, pick me. A lot of y'all don't even know what the fuck a pick me is. Right? But again, I digress. Y'all are trying, a lot of y'all try and play the big girl's game, but you're not a big girl. Right? The only women who should be out here living... Because here, here's the thing, and let's just be real. Shira has her own bread, right? If she mm -hmm. left James today tomorrow, she could sustain her lifestyle on her own. She said this. She has her YouTube. She has a degree. She used to be a mortician. You feel me? So she can play that type of game, right? Okay. If you are not already put up on your own as a woman, hey, it's not. Because, again, y'all are going to find yourselves, again, no shade to um, Tisa, but y'all are going to find yourselves in a similar situation because y'all don't vet these men. You don't take time to get to know the content of their character, find out who they're related to, what the mental illness could be, where they come from. Y'all literally only care about getting a bag, and you only operate from that space when you are operating from a place of lack. People who are abundant, people who already have their own money mm -hmm. and live a certain lifestyle, they don't care about that, right? Because... First of all, when you're already that type of woman, a man can see that. He knows he has yeah. to approach you differently. 
So mm-hmm. it's not even about the money because again, when you're a certain type of woman and you have a certain type of bag, you already know that's default. So what else are you bringing to me? Yeah. But when you approach the situation like, well, you know, with a money hungry type of energy, a very leachy, lackey, broke energy, a man is, he's not going to eat that up. Y'all be thinking y'all be eating. No, you're getting ate, babe. And I'm just keeping it real. Y'all know I'm going to keep it real with y'all. So let's just all take from this a lesson. This lesson that I've been trying to tell y'all. Stop with the sprinkle, sprinkle. You are not Shira. You are not put up like that. And, and, the thing, and, and at the very least, if you are going to play the sprinkle, sprinkle game, please get your own money first so that mm-hmm. if and when this man... Actually, I would argue it's not even an if situation. But when this man decides to act a fool, you have your own bag. You have mm-hmm. your own everything to fall back on. I don't know why that's not simple math, but... That the sprinkle sprinkle lifestyle is only for a certain caliber of a woman. I think many are offended by what she said because it's a lot of truth to it. It's a lot of truth. Shara is, I don't know if I said her name right, but anyway, she's able to obtain a man like James and live the life that she's living because she had it an education she's very educated she had a successful career and whatever she has access to successful men that have you know great careers and great jobs that's able to take care of her because y'all don't have access to that y'all may not be able to live that sprinkle sprinkle life Mm -hmm. but if you were able to you know get a man you know, whatever, that has a lot of money because y'all don't have nothing to fall back back on if something was to go wrong, you stuck with him. And yeah. I think many don't understand that. I remember a creator said a lot of y'all are not fearful of being in a financially abusive relationship and that yeah. is a scary thing. That is a very scary thing. Mm-hmm. Like, I get it. You want a provider. But what else do you want besides a provider? Mm-hmm. Do you want a... a a husband and a boyfriend that's a good person that's going to take care of you and is genuine. He's not just, you know, doing it because he wants to hold on to you, have some type of control over you. Mm-hmm. He's doing it because that's just the type of person that he is. Is that what you want? Just be careful of what y'all asking for. And also something that I'm really tired of y'all. Shara did not say go after a wealthy man. She never really said, well, she said, find you a good man that has a really good job that, that where he's able to take care of the bills and take care of you and it he it necessarily don't have to be a really rich man because let's be honest a lot of us don't have access to rich men mm-hmm. y'all don't y'all don't even know where they at so be very careful listen to the words and exactly what she is saying because y'all gonna put yourselves in a position that y'all cannot get yourself out it is not gonna be well also, too, I feel like this is an appropriate time for me to re-bring up the conversation. This is my theory. Black people are so naturally funny that even when we be funny, we don't realize it. Because this lady is saying some funny with a straight face. And, like, when I be funny, people, like, I be saying stuff, people just start laughing. I'm like, <laughs> <"Stop> laughing. <laughs> like, because I be so serious. It's naturally in us to be funny. That's crazy. Yeah. Maybe it comes from trauma? Probably. (laughs) Play the sprinkle, sprinkle game or whatever. And. Okay. Now, it's some things in her video that she said that I kind of don't agree with. But she did touch on a few things. A lot of us or a lot of females wants to live the sprinkle, sprinkle life, but you're not really ready to put in the work or your mindset or you're not even really there in a position to even live that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Um, I always have a joke where I say females want prostitution benefits, but don't put in the prostitution work, Mm -hmm. which means you want the man with the nice car, the nice house that's going to spend money, all this other type stuff. But you're really not ready to do the hard labor and the dirty work or whatever to actually obtain it. Mm-hmm. And another thing she said, she said that women always screaming out, I want a provider, I want a provider, I want a guy that's going to buy me Chanel, Gucci, and Louis. And like she said, you don't even buy that stuff for yourself. Like she said, these some of these are dumb, but some of these 
are really not dumb. Mm -hmm. And some of them really see you're screaming in my face that you want X, Y, Z, you want trips mm -hmm. to Turks and Caicos, you want all of this, but you can't even provide those things for yourself. Mm -hmm. So what makes you think I'm going to want to provide those things for you? Granted, it is some men out here that get a fix off of saying that they boost up a girl's life or being able to say, oh yeah, you wouldn't have experienced mm -hmm. this if I didn't take you there. Mm -hmm. Granted, it is some guys out here that's like that. But if a man see that you can't even take yourself out of town or out the country, honestly, what makes you think that he wants to take you out of the town or out of the country? Um, and it reminds me of that Rick Ross, uh, Drewski thing when he had Rich, Rick Ross on there doing the little dating thing. And then the girl asked, he asked the girl like between a, a Mercedes Benz and a Volkswagen, which car would you choose? And she all like, I want the Mercedes Benz. And he looked her dead in her face and basically said, that's the problem right there. You don't even know that a Mercedes Benz don't even last as long as a Volkswagen, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So... It's, we we, we got to stop wanting the prostitution benefits and not want to put in the prostitution work. That's the Ooh. And like she said, a lot of y'all want to play the big girl game, but you're not a big girl. I don't get what your age is. Some of y'all are really not ready to be in that lifestyle or do what it has to do to obtain that. Because if you don't have anything going for yourself or you don't plan on being someone successful when you solely rely or you want a man to provide or do all of this stuff for you, you're in a rude awakening if you think that it's going to be something easy for you to get. Mm -hmm. And another thing she said is, a lot of y'all want to play the big girl game, but you're not a big girl. I don't know what your age is. Some of y'all are really not ready to be in that lifestyle or do what it has to do to obtain that. Because if you don't have anything going for yourself or you don't plan on being someone successful when you solely rely or you want a man to provide or do all of this stuff for you, you're in a rude awakening if you think that it's going to be something easy for you to get. Mm -hmm. And another thing she said is um, a lot of women don't like hearing the harsh truth. And I feel like that's why a lot of us don't have friends mm -hmm. or a lot of us are used to Yes, men around us, because it's hard to hear the truth. If mm -hmm. you was to tell your friend, like, that man is not going to spend that money on you because X, Y, Z, she's definitely going to look at you with the side eye, call you a hater, we'll call, say whatever it is. But in reality, it really is true. And I used to be a worker. I've had sugar daddies, splendid daddies. Mm -hmm. I've been in that lifestyle to know, like, oh, it's not as easy as you seeing your favorite celebrity on Instagram or your favorite influencer. Mm -hmm. It's not as easy the mental illness could be where they come from y'all mm -hmm. literally only care about getting a bag now shout out to this creator because she really broke it down like to a science and i've been saying this for ages mm -hmm. like women y'all really need to stop dating men just because they got a little bit of pocket change a little bit of money like stop dating a man just because he can pay your bills or he can give you a certain lifestyle y'all need to learn how to vet these men properly and learn a man's true intentions and character how he was raised is, or is his daddy in his life you like you need to know all these things mm -hmm. y'all sitting here being bag chasers and just chasing every man left or right that got a little bit of money that can get you that chanel bag the gucci whatever the case may be but then you real you wonder why your life turns out the way it is is because these no morals no character all they have to show for themselves is a bag mm -hmm. And then most of y'all don't even know where that bag is coming from. So a lot of y'all like he live in these lavish lifestyles of dirty money. Sprinkle, sprinkle that. I okay. try to tell y'all. Also, too, I feel like this is an appropriate time for me to re bring up the conversation. So I'm glad this young lady brought up uh Sharon Seven or whatever her name is. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. If you had a nigga, if you had a dude going around telling other men how to hoe out women and get the bag, right? Wouldn't y'all cancel them? I mean, wouldn't y'all go out your way to have these dudes cancel? I just don't understand how Cher can teach y'all how to be and get the bag. And y'all cool with that. And y'all promoting it. I, I just don't understand. Yeah. And half of y'all don't look like Cher. I'm just gonna be blunt about it. She's good looking. I'm not saying y'all are ugly. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying Cher is good looking. And we all know what that means. So, obviously, she can get whatever she wants to buy her whatever she wants. And some of y'all don't got that. And the fact that some of y'all are broke, I'm trying to get more. Y'all should have some self-respect for yourselves. It's ridiculous out here. Uh, 
lifestyle is only for a certain caliber of a woman. And of course, you know. I've been seeing like videos in my For You page of other women content creators just um, making up these whole stories about Shira 7. Like the message that Shira 7 gives is not about, oh, just get a man and take his money. No, her is about women empowering. It's about women building confidence, women building their self-esteem up. So when she's talking about leveling up, she's talking about all those things, not only about your appearance, but building your self-esteem up. Mm -hmm. uh, the lady in the video was saying about how Reese's was easily impressed because this man was paying for her bills. No, like... In the videos with Reese's, like, she mentioned she has a condo mm -hmm. or had a condo and she has a good career. So she's doing very yeah. well financially. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not financial. Like, her problem was low self-esteem. She was able to accept lies and ignore all the red flags because she felt like she couldn't do any better, better yeah. you know? And that's something that Shira Seven is, you know, kind of teaching a lot of young ladies is to not accept lies and all the red flags and all of that, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I just wanted to mention, because I feel like a lot of uh, other, especially women for some reason that are doing content creation, uh, here on TikTok and other social media platforms are like just slandering. It feels like slandering Shira Seven's message. And it's not only like, oh, you should get a rich man. It's about self-confidence and building your self-esteem so that you won't be taken advantage of by not only men, but just society as a whole. Please go down in the comment section and share your tone. Love to know what you think about this conversation down in the comment section, but please keep it respectful. You're on this channel. We're allowed to disagree, but we do it in a respectful way. So go ahead and share your thoughts, but be respectful as always. Okay. So I get where she's coming from. I like, ah, I understand where she's coming from. And one thing I want to point out is that I feel like with this old Risa series that has come out, the 50-part series of A Pathological Liar and women sharing their story, and even ladies sharing their sprinkle sprinkle story, I felt like it has led to that movement where a lot of people are seeing the sprinkle sprinkle as more of a movement, more of a feminist, which I did a video about that. But I just don't get why everybody is calling Sharon Sevens, the Sprinkle Sprinkle Lady, into every conversation, especially when it comes to men and women. And I feel like if you're someone that has watched Sharon for a while and listened to what she says, and she always says this thing, she said, I am not a relationship coach or a relationship expert. I am a financial advisor. And I just don't, I like... I just don't like the vibe why they always put her in every relationship advice where she has clearly states that she is not that. What she's giving, she's that she's trying to tell women on how to secure the bag from rich men. That aside, I agree with some of the things this lady said because these are the things I agree when she talked about how she felt like if you want to bag a certain type of man, especially the rich type, the ones that will provide for you, you also have to be able to provide for yourself. I totally agree with that. I feel like the old sprinkle sprinkle movement, people should take it with a pinch of salt. I feel like some people just literally like run with it and they'll say, oh, if you cannot buy me a Birkin bag, I'm not doing it. I'm blah, blah, blah. But the thing is that this message through the old madness, the whole manipulation, the old thing. If you have a woman, I'm not saying that you should look for a man that provides for you. But if you have a woman, you're telling a man to provide for you and you can provide for yourself. I feel like it comes with another level of disrespect because this is something I've seen in my society and in my culture where we've had rich men get married to ladies, women from a less privileged home. And then these ladies come in and like the man treat them like shit. And people don't understand. And I know a lot of people usually look to Africa like, oh, African men provide for their family. African men provide for their uh, home 100%. But 
But what they don't tell you is that some of the mental and the financial abuse that comes from those type of marriage or relationship or dynamic, those type of conversation I know you really have. And for someone that lives in that culture, in that environment, maybe that's why I am. Because some of you guys ask me like, Destiny, where do you get the strength to do all this and do it? That's because I have seen how a lot of women are being disrespected, being abused for not having their own. And this is something we come here to talk about every time, telling women to always secure themselves, always do the work, free yourself financially. Because I feel like when you have financial freedom, you can actually stand up for yourself. You can actually stand on business. And when we talk about the Sprinkle Sprinkle movement, how to find a provider and all that, I feel like if you're already providing for yourself, and this is where... It still boils down to what we all this talk about gospel here on this channel, about your self-love, your, you improving your mental health. If you've gotten to that place where you've improved your mental health, you self-love yourself, you know who you are as a person, and you're taking care of yourself, when you meet someone, that's the only kind of people you attract because the person clearly can see that you are well taken care of by yourself. So what else? What does it want to do? And if we want to talk about the dynamic of men and women and all that, men are usually in the place where they want to impress women, especially when they are trying to woo the women. So when you already have your own, imagine how much impress he's going to do. But when he knows that, oh, you're just there for his money, he's going to play along. He's going to give you the old change. And I feel like when men do that, they give you the change. Like, mm -mm, let me do it so I get her. And then when you get in, they, they do not show you, mm -mm. And then they now want to control every move you get and all that. If I don't know, I, I don't know if I'm going to do a, a conversation like a sit down and talk and see if I can talk to some people if they will agree to come on conversations like this. People that are married to wealthy men and some of the abuse they face in the relationship, it is not funny. So sometimes when we all say, "Oh, no, no," think it, ask yourself. Like I said in the other video. Everybody get married for different reasons. I'm not telling anybody what to do with your life, but every get, everybody get married for a different reason. If you want to get married for money, which I mean, gospel, find a man that will provide for you. But if you want to get for it, be mentally prepared with the insult that comes with it. And if you're not ready for the insult, secure your bag. And that's one thing Sharon always tell ladies when she talk like secure the bag for yourself protect yourself financially and i don't know why they always miss that up in terms of the whole relationship dynamic which is something that i strongly believe in is like as much as you're a woman you want somebody to take care of you take care of yourself too hmm? i'm learning that to take care of yourself protect yourself mentally financially spiritually so that when that person come you attract the person and to add up to some of the things that we discussed in this video, a whole lot of us really don't have access to rich men. So when we're talking about, oh, you want to secure a bag, you want to secure a rich man, how many rich men do you come in contact with on a daily basis or even on a monthly basis? So I'm not saying it hasn't worked for some girls, but hmm? are you ready for the work? Anyway, guys, please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. Love to know what you think about this conversation down in the comment section, but please keep it respectful. Go on and share this video with somebody that you want to be part of the conversation because that's what we do here. We have banging conversations, so go ahead and share this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, smash the like button because this helps YouTube to push out my content for more people to see and that will be you supporting this channel and this girl. With that all said, guys, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Deuces.